what's up everyone it is your girl jail beauty 87 here aka grace and today we're gonna get into ranking all my rainbow palettes so i've been in the mood to rank stuff lately so i figured i'd go ahead and rank some um stuff that i figured you might be interested in and since i'm always wearing colorful eyeshadow like i am now i figured it'd be fun to rank all the rainbow palettes in my collection now surprisingly i don't have as many as i thought i did when you think about like two rainbow colors i only have um eight so this shouldn't take long let's get into it so number eight is the uh trending in tokyo palette from bh cosmetics just out of all the rainbow palettes i have i feel like this was my least favorite formula to play with and it's my least reached rainbow palette for because it just doesn't do it for me the way all the other palettes do so this is at the bottom and this is the reformulated one that i did a video for y'all compared the old one to the new one that they reformulated i do like the form of this one better than the original one and they did change the names and this one from the original one i do have but you know um it just doesn't do it for me the way my other rainbow palettes do it for me so that's why it got ranked where it got ranked so number seven is the radioactive palette from nail cosmetics now this might might be considered a true rainbow palette because it I don't think it has a red in it. It has the orange, the greens, and the other tones, but then it has two purples instead of a red. But I just went ahead and put it in here anyway. The quality on this is okay. It's just compared to all the other rainbow palettes I have and all the other, you know, makeup I have that is rainbow-esque, I, I rarely, if ever, reach for this palette. Just because, I don't know, I feel like it, um... It just doesn't have enough matte to shimmer ratio that I like. And then, like, the color story isn't as great as I feel like it could have been. So, compared to all the other rainbow stuff I have, this is definitely going to be number seven. It just, I don't know, it fell short for me. And I love Melt and their shadows, but that palette fell short for me. So, number six is Ace Beauté Slice of Paradise. This is the reformulated one. I always loved the color story of this palette. I just felt more that it wasn't good formula but once they got the new formula i felt like it was okay to um you know use and i have i think i have i i'm trying to remember if i've used it since the video of me showing you all that it reformulated i think i have and i think that's what put it lower because i love the color story of this palette even though it isn't all rainbow-esque as well i feel like it's close enough to rainbow because they had the majority of the rainbow shades in it so that's why i went ahead and included it in here but this is number six just because I really, if ever, reach for it, but I do love the color story of it, and I do appreciate the fact that they um, um, revamped the formula and made it better. So that's why I got to be higher, as high as it is. So number five is my glam light cake palette. I, if you all saw my Inst my TikTok, I had found this at TJ Maxx, and I was trying to figure out if it's real or not because I was like, when they start selling glam light at TJ Maxx. But I like the color story of this palette. I like. Uh, the formula of this palette and y'all know um when it comes to their rainbow palettes i don't like the what is that one the ice cream dream one at all but i really do like this one and to me this is more rainbow-esque than um that one because that one has pastels and then this one has more true to color rainbow form and it now does um it does perform well and it does look nice it's just more of the packaging is what annoys me about this and since, again, I, I, I keep saying it, I have so many rainbow palettes. I have other rainbow palettes I reach for more. So that's why it's where it is at number five. So number four is my Viseart, um Editorial Brights. Now, this is the mini one. I didn't bring my full size with me. I brought the mini one. But, you know, I have used that one a few times. I actually used the Grande Pro Volume 3 more than I use this one. But it is in a true rainbow palette, so I couldn't include it. But I did bring it with me. But, yeah, I um, like this color story. I like the mattes in here. Y'all know Fizzy Art is known for their mattes. And the colorful mattes are just as nice as their neutral mattes. Especially if you put a white base on them, like underneath me. I actually have Fizzy Art on my eyes right now. I just shot a video with the Choo Choo Palette to see if, you know, you all be interested in, um, in getting the palette. Not based on the eye look I did, but... Yeah, this palette is really nice, and I really love to reach for my um, Viseart matte, so that's how I got to be at number four. The rest of these palettes are, these are like my go-to colorful palettes, so the top three is my go-to colorful palettes, and um, top five is my um, like most used colorful palettes, so that's how I went by. I went by all the colorful rainbow palettes I have in my collection, then I ranked them according to how many times I have used each one. And so going up, these are what I've used like close to the absolute most. So number three is the Be Perfect Carnival Love Tahiti palette from um, Stacey Marie and um, Be, Be Perfect Cosmetics. 
This is what it looks like on the inside and I have done quite a few looks with this palette. I will say though the purples in here disappointed me. I thought they were going to be It was the purples or it was like the um, blues and greens. I'm not sure. I feel like it was the purples from what I told you all before that disappointed me in this palette. I actually want to get the dupe palette and see if the purples in there are better than this one. It's on sale on um, Amazon for like 10 bucks. the W7 one that they duped this with. So I'm thinking about getting and doing a comparison. I mean, I know I'm super late to the party. She's about to come up with a whole new palette according to her, which is why they put the um, antidote one on sale. But, you know, I'm still curious to um, try it out and see for myself. And I can give it to my cousins when I'm done, so no harm there. But, um... I really like this palette. I think of this as a rainbow palette a lot when I think of rainbow palettes because it has a nice matte to shimmer ratio. It still has a few neutrals in it, but overall it's a good colorful rainbow situation. So, number two um, it was my most used and most loved palette from the brand Colored Rain. This is my Vivid Pressed Pigments and Shadows palette. If y'all know, y'all know if you hear from the beginning, you know I had a whole playlist where I would just play with this palette to use all the rainbow colors in here and make different rainbow looks for you all because I absolutely love this palette. It's stunning. I love it. I love it. I love it. This is easily like my most used rainbow palette when um I got it just because I loved it so much. But it got thrown by number one. That's why it's number two now. But if number if I hadn't tried number one, this would still be number one. But my girl Karen Harris and my girl Mariah Gold came on the scene and were like um the blend bunny cosmetics blends palette which is number one for rainbow palettes for me needs to be tried and both of them did stunning looks with it so i was like okay well i guess i'll try it even though it's just another rainbow palette and it's not like i don't have other rainbow palettes y'all just saw me show you seven other rainbow palettes so it wasn't like this was needed at all at least i thought it wasn't needed but then i tried the formula on this and i was like oh okay so this was needed and this did just take the place of my colored rain vivid um press um, pigments and shadows palette because this is everything you need right here if you need a rainbow palette I would definitely say go get this one this is number one for me absolute stunning wonderful palette I get it get it get it get it get it if I had to name my top if I said get any of the palettes I would say get the ones that are in my top five so you can get the cake palette from TJ Maxx for 20 bucks get the Viseart um, palette get the Stacey Marie get the colored rain or get this one I recommend getting this one first and then like the color rain and the other ones in the order I put them in. So the top five, I recommend getting though. Like any of the top five, I would definitely say get. But this one just reigns supreme for me. So those were me ranking all my rainbow palettes. I'm shocked that I don't have more. But I went, like I said, with traditional rainbow colors. Because it's like I have palettes that are rainbow-esque. But they weren't actually like the rainbow itself for the most part. And you still saw a couple rainbow-esque ones. But those are ones I do genuinely reach for or have like thought enough about to include in the video but those are my rainbow palettes so i hope you all enjoyed this video remember you all the diamonds let me know down below if you have any these rainbow palettes have you tried the blend bunny blends rainbow palette because they always have really good sales so you can always get her palettes for 20 percent off or you can use code cage makeup and get a discount on it that way but hope you all enjoyed this video remember you all the diamonds i'll catch you guys in the next one be blessed girl bye